In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Peacock for Hitman for Linux. This also works on Steam Deck, by the way. So first of all, you want to click that website, search that website, check the installation guide, go to the Linux setup guide, and go to that GitHub repo. Once that loads, it's going to tell you that you'll need some dependencies. Those dependencies are curl and unzip. So we're going to install those using our package manager. I'm on Arch, by the way, Cache OS. So what we'll do is sudo pacman dash s unzip and curl. And I'm going to enter my password in. And we've already got them installed, so we don't really need to install them again. But I will do so anyway. Close that. I'm going to copy this command, open up the terminal again, paste it in. Alright, once that's all good, we're going to change directory into the Linux Steam setup folder. By default, it will go to your home folder. So, clear this, change directory into Linux Steam setup, and that's all the files in there. Now, we want to copy that first part of the command because I've seen if you do it again, if you do it uh, in one go, it just doesn't work. So we'll copy this. And what this does is makes a directory. And then we're going to copy that second part of the command. And then we're going to paste that in. And that just copies the peacock service file to the aforementioned directory we made earlier. Now we want to start up Peacock using system control, so we'll copy those commands too. Again, it is highlighted in blue, and you do that if you want to make sure that um, Peacock starts when you start Hitman. It's, it's always going to be running in the background. So just paste that in, and it'll say a bunch of stuff saying, hey, symlink created, whatnot. It, I Anyways, if you want to check the status for it, you just do system control dash dash user status and peacock spelled properly and you can see peacock is up to date now that's the installation process done now we actually gotta start with an hitman so i will be back once we've installed hitman um, but also if you're moving from windows and you already have peacock's user data you can um you can, you can paste it into the Linux Peacock version as well, which is quite nice. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So as you can see, uh, this is my um, Windows Peacock file. I have my user data and my options and plugins in there. I'm just going to copy that over and we'll go back to the Linux Steam Setup folder into the Peacock folder there and then we'll paste it in and overwrite everything. And that's how you transfer your data pretty much. So just apply to all, write into, apply to all, write into, overwrite, and then that's done. Alright, so now we've just got to actually enable it within Hitman. So I'll be back once we've got Hitman installed. Now we're going to press play on Hitman just to have it start up and create the necessary prefix files and whatnot. You'll install the Vulcan shaders because I don't know, it doesn't have them loaded in the background. Anyways, you'll notice the time does say 12.04 pm. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I installed this overnight, and um, this video, this part of the video is recorded the next day. And once the launcher pops up, you can just click quit, and we've already made the files for it. So, we want to browse local files after that, so right click on that, and go to retail, and keep that open, because we need to download the modding SDK, so we can actually enable Peacock within Hitman. So, let's open up a browser, and we'll go back to that page. And it gives us a handed link to the modding SDK. We're going to download the release, not the dev package. Don't, don't download the dev package. Download the release. Alright. 
so download the release zip and that's just 26 megabytes not that big we'll click that and um, have that open as well we're going to extract, uh, ignore that, uh, we're going to extract and delete the archive and we'll go into that folder and take all of this, so just yep, control A and drag it into here so we'll just move and that's that now we're going to start Hitman again and get this sorted out So, um, once we started Hitman, it'll tell you to press the tilde to toggle's menu or whatnot, and that's underneath the escape button. So we'll wait for the game to load, but um, in this little box, we're gonna want to drag. Uh, we're gonna want to turn on the online tools feature, um, and that will allow us to connect to Peacock. So, but before we do that. We're going to connect to the official I.O. servers. Once we're connected to I.O.'s official servers, we're going to open up that menu again. And as you can see, this is my Steam account. And I'm only level 299 on this. So, I haven't played that much on this. But we'll go into that menu again. And we're going to scroll down until we see Online Tools. Click OK. Open up that menu. Click Online Tools. Check all four of those boxes. Add Domain and add port 3000 so set the colon 3000 and then we'll click that tick as well and that makes sure it starts as default and it will start peacock every time it'll go into peacock every time you start hitman and now we need to go offline so we're going to restart the game all right so we'll right click and um, add skip underscore launcher and launch options spell it correctly though and what this will do is it will skip the IO Hitman launcher and just load you straight into the game. <clears throat> and once uh, everything's done correctly, you should see it loads Peacock, but something's wrong. The uh, branding is a bit off. All this, that's why we're going to have to install a mod using Simple Mod Framework to fix that issue. So, that will be in part two. Well, it'll be the end of this video, actually. Alright, fellas. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mod um, Hitman World of Assassination with Simple Mod Framework. First, we're going to need Simple Mod Framework. I can't spell today, but um, we want the GitHub repo for this. And then you go into releases. And then you download this. That was April 10th. This is the latest one. Now I've already got it installed, I mean downloaded. Um, so. <clears throat> Once you do, uh, you're going to extract those files and um, put it in a folder called SMF, like this. That's what you want to do. Now, we're going to take this SMF folder, go into Extra, and we'll go back to our Hitman Free folder, um, right here. And we're just going to paste it net in this folder. Okay, we're just going to paste it in this folder. I'm pretty sure that's done it. Okay. Now, I already have a bunch of mods in here. But don't drag them into this mods folder manually. I just have this as a backup. So, what you're going to want to do now, <clears throat> you're going to add a non-Steam game, right, you're going to click Browse, 
you can click uh, wherever you put SMF. So in this case, it's here, mod manager, mod manager.exe. Click open, add selected programs. Click properties, compatibility layer, force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And we'll do Proton Experimental. Then we want to start in the Hitman 3 prefix. So click Browse, go back to Extra, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Compact Data. And the app ID for Hitman is 1659040. And go into that prefix folder. And I just click OK. All right. Well, let's press play on that and make sure Proton Experimental downloads. I see my Wi Fi is so slow. All right, we've got six seconds. Six seconds. Three, two, <clears throat> there we go. All right, so this should be running. It might take a bit to pop up. Of course, it's on my other. All right, there you go. Now, to install mods, you click Enable Disable Mods. And, okay, there we go. So I already have a bunch of mods installed, as you can see. But the important one is Peacock Strings, the one you want to basically, if I delete this, and let's re-download that. All right, and we're going to download the zip file. There we go. And um, I'm pretty sure you can just drag it in there. Firefox doesn't let me drag it into things, so <laughs> we'll click Add Mod. Now, in Proton, it's going to open up in the prefix, which is very confusing. Um, but you can go to slash home, your username, downloads, and find it right there. Click select. <clears throat> and there it is, it's right there. Click enable. And it's going to be the last one in that list deployed. So once you have all your mods installed, right, you want to click apply. And this might take a while. Like, it's gonna take a while. So I'll come back to when it's done. Now, obviously, if you have like one mod in there, it's gonna take you at least 10 seconds max. <laughs> and see, I have a bunch of mods, it took me almost 25 bits, so yeah. Alright, gentlemen, once you've uh, finished deploying all your mods, we now need to find the last deploy.json file. So, obviously, if you got a lot more mods, it'll take a longer time to deploy. So, that's something you gotta watch out for. Now, I found the last deploy.json file in the local.share steam directory. Um, you just search for it, right? Last deploy.json. And uh, it will be there, right here, just now. There it is. What you want to do is, you want to copy this, control C, go back to local.share, um, dot local share, and uh, I'm going to close the split screen. So we're going to copy this, and then, Go to home dot local share control shift n to make a new folder. We'll call this app dot simple dash mod 
that frame worked. And we'll paste the last deploy JSON file here. This is what Peacock needs to actually um, output the correct data needed, like adding contracts to menus as such. And um, I believe that's it, really. Uh, if you need to, though, you can go here. Dot plugin dot js, and this will find all the plugins here. Um, as you can see, so if we copy all these except that one, Control C, and we want to go to our Linux theme setup for Peacock. Go to plugins. I've already got a bunch of them, but I'm gonna paste the rest. There we go. Now we're going to restart Peacock and then we're going to check the status. There we go. It added everything. As you can see, Kube Destination File Test Play Scripts added. That's only if you have uh, Welcome to Kuba installed or anything like that, but that's simply how you mod things. And if those mods have plugins. So when I go into the game, and connect to Peacock all my mods will load correctly the Heritage of the Y menu screen looks like this now that is broken That that's broken we could probably fix that like this but you can see Cuba's here now, and we're going to create inventory weapons. It is now sorted into their own categories, which is very nice for Peacock. <laughs>